I just can't believe that lifestyle I lived. Uh, it's taken a hell of a lot out of me, put it that way. Got out of bartending, working, and you know, dealing the the, the pee and well, dealing whatever really. But that was the main thing. And and within that world, it's the more you go, the darker you you go, the darker the people become, and so the more intense it comes. The night before we got arrested, there was me and my partner and someone else in the room, and I said, you know, the police are going to come and get me soon. And I used to actually hope that they would, so it would be over. When I was given my own turf, that's when I got into the major side of dealing meth um, and supplying it. The age of 28, I went to jail for possession of meth, possession of firearms, kidnapping and assault. I came back to Auckland and I started seeing a few of the same people and some people had gotten worse, some people had gotten better, um, but it was still the same shit. There was still people driving around in cars from car park to car park and that was their life. They're like texting me, yeah, meet me at this car park, and then they fucking meet there and they smoke crack, and it's like, meet me at this car park, meet there and sell some weed or buy this stolen item. And, and it's like, when you think about it, and when you fucking zoom out and you look at it and you follow their fucking car, all their life is, is driving to different fucking car parks and people's houses doing drugs and buying drugs and stealing things. And it's like, is that fun? The um, Defender Squad came in because they thought that we were violent and had weapons and but yeah, um, they came crashing through the door at about three o'clock. We'd just come back from doing a big run and they came back at, they came through at about 3 a.m. We thought it was um, gangs, rivals that were coming in to um, stand over us for our um, drugs. And um, we just saw glass. And then it was, we got up to see what the fuck was going on. And then um, yeah, big guns and torches and we were told to get down and hands behind our backs. And it was just, yeah, it was all on.